nasal steroid sprays are probably the most effective treatment we have for seasonal allergies. They're effective because they work on the nose symptoms, sneezing, runny nose, itchiness, as well as congestion and stuffiness, a very prominent and bothersome symptom. One thing antihistamines can't do is they don't work on nasal congestion or stuffiness. And that's one of the most vexing and bothersome symptoms when you have allergies. And that we rely on other types of approach, such as a nasal spray called a nasal steroid spray. And they suppress allergic inflammation in your nose. And they're very helpful in reducing congestion and stuffiness. One of the main symptoms we see people have allergies and having bothersome symptoms. Nasal congestion also affects nighttime sleeping, quality sleep, and therefore people wake up during the season, they say they feel tired, they feel not alert, they're not learning or perception is down, and that may be because they're getting poor quality sleep from nasal obstruction. Nasal steroid sprays are largely available and many of them over the counter. They're quite safe and studies and guidelines indicate their first line treatment for people with bothersome seasonal allergies. Nasal corticosteroid sprays do not have a rebound effect like we see with overusage of nasal decongestant sprays. Decongestant nasal sprays can be used for a period of three to five days. After that, they create a condition called rebound congestion or rhinitis medicamentosa, which is the medical term. It causes a cascade of mucus and secretions like Niagara Falls taking over your nasal lining and that can cause worse symptoms than the beginning. So you wanna avoid using nasal decongestant sprays more than three to five days continuously.